happy Saturday, everyone, on this beautiful Saturday. Uh, today, Michelle wanted to share a few easy recipes with you. Now, dinner is going to be fantastic, and it's so easy. But first, I wanted to make caramel corn. You know that fall crunchy <laughs> um, treat that you expect in the fall? We're going to make Michelle's caramel corn. I've had this recipe since I was a teenager. It's the only way you want to make caramel corn, okay? Trust me. Yes, it's the only way. Yeah, so that's what we're going to do. Um, the only thing I'm doing different this time is I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to pop my popcorn like this. And I'm going to put two bags of... Microwave popcorn in my roaster, okay? I might need three. Let me get this popped and we'll uh, We'll see how much we got in our roaster. We might do do three or four It's gonna be hard not to eat some <laughs> I love the smell of popcorn Some for Zen. Zen! Mums have popcorn for you. Let me get popcorn for you. Look at popcorn in your box. You're all set. Yeah. I have to do this because he loves to sit on there. Then I gotta clean it all. So. Like, I'll show it when we have company and stuff, but <laughs> this is what you do when you have animals. Yeah. Come and get your popcorn. There he is. He loves his popcorn. Bring it in your box. <laughs> okay. Two bags. Let's see if this is enough. Oh, we have oh, it's hot. I think that'll be good enough. That way we'll have more caramel all over it. <laughs> Two bags. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, let's make the caramel. So you're going to need a saucepan and you're going to need one cup of butter. Try not to substitute any of this. One cup of butter. stove on and get it going. Uh, two cups of brown sugar. Half a cup corn syrup. And don't, don't substitute this. Just use the corn syrup. Then you want one teaspoon of salt, a 
and one teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, we're gonna bring this to a boil. When it starts to boil, we're gonna leave it alone and not stir it. Not stir it for five minutes. Okay, I'll have to put the light on for you guys. There we go. Give it a good mix. My butter was cold, so it's going down. Getting melted in there. And you're going to need baking soda, but you're not going to add that until after it's boiled for five minutes. Okay, see how it's starting to boil? We're going to put it for five minutes. We're not going to touch it. Where can I put this? Oh up. shit, did it drip down there? Oh, Michelle. Jeez. Okay. What are you making? I'm making caramel corn, but I spilt some on the burner. Okay, five minutes and don't touch it. I'll be back in five minutes. Do not touch it. If you think it's boiling too hard, just turn it down a little bit. Do not touch it. Do not touch it. I turned it down a little bit. We got two minutes to go. That was delicious in here. One more minute to go. Okay, after five minutes, remove it from the heat and you're going to add half a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And then you're going to mix that up. And that's it. We're going to put it on our popcorn. Set your oven at 250 and we're going to put it in the oven too. Stir it up. Get it all mixed in. Best caramel corn you'll ever have. Okay. Let's get this on the caramel corn. On the popcorn, I mean. Now you can do three bags. Yeah, uh, you can do three bags. But you know Michelle, she loves uh, a lot, lots of topping. So we're gonna just dip this on here like this. Be careful because this caramel is very hot, and you don't want to touch it because you'll burn yourself. Yeah, I could actually did three bags. But that's okay. You do three bags. I'll do two. Okay. I'm going to lick this spoon. You know I am. Uh-huh. Try and get all that popcorn covered. Okay, get it all mixed in. Take your time, it's all right. Don't have to rush. And you wanna do it in a roaster. You don't do it just in any pan, it has to be a roasting pan. Okay, that's the trick. The trick is when you put it in the oven, it gets real crunchy. Okay, we're going to put it in the oven for one hour, but every 15 minutes we're going to take it and we're going to stir it, okay? 
we're going to give it a good stir every 15 minutes and don't leave that part out either okay make sure your caramel is not on the bottom of your pan okay in the oven it goes okay stir number one Oh, it smells good. <laughs> the toasting in the oven is so important. I keep telling you, you can't miss this step. No. <sighs> Don't want any of that on the bottom. I want it all over the popcorn. Okay, I won't bring you back for the la next three stirs, but we're going to get dinner started. So let me get this in the oven and I'll show you what we're doing for dinner. Okay guys, I'm going to show you dinner, how easy this is. You're going to need a pan just like this. You can use a, a glass, glass one or whatever you got, okay? Okay, you're going to need a brick of cream cheese. You can use cream cheese or you can two, use two of the Boris, Borison cheese. You know, the... Uh, the soft cheese that you put with crackers. I got a little left, so I'm going to put that in there too. Okay. Whatever you prefer. You, just one cream cheese brick is good. I'm just adding this because I got to use it up. So I'm throwing it in. Okay. Just like that. Okay. Set your oven for 350. Okay, this is where you need your cherry tomatoes. I have a ton from the garden, right? You're going to put the cherry tomatoes all around, okay? Just like that. You can use it. I, I washed these and I try I try to pick up most of the uh, stems. Oh, shit. That one squirted. That's okay. We're going to put 350 for 30 minutes. That's it. That's all you're doing here, okay? Do you guys remember when I got this bread at Costco? We're going to make a... Oh, that's one more, 15 more minutes. Mm. Oh. It's so hard to wait for that popcorn. I'm going to make a garlic bread with that. Okay, I'm just going to use, I have to do it simple because the way Nate likes it. Just some garlic butter and a little bit of Parmesan. Then we'll wrap it up in tin foil and put it in the oven when it's time to almost eat. Okay, Bruce has been outside. Bill's over, if you're wondering where he is. <laughs> 
They're hanging out around the fire and doing things in the yard. Yeah. So I'm just going to butter this with the garlic butter I have. I'm just going to use it all. It's just been, ooh, sneezing. Yeah. Okay, then I'm going to sprinkle it with garlic powder and garlic plus. Garlic powder. Garlic plus. Okay. Then I'm going to sprinkle Parmesan, Parmesan cheese on top. I, if you don't know, I keep my, I keep my Parmesan in the freezer. That way it doesn't go bad. That's all we like on our garlic bread. Don't like cheese. Well, except for the Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna wrap these up in tin foil and we'll put them in the oven later when our dinner is done. Okay. Put them right on top of each other. Piece of tin foil. Wrap it up. In the oven, I don't know, five to ten minutes. I always did it. <laughs> Way too much tin foil. What am I thinking? <laughs> that over there for now the popcorn is done we're gonna take it aside and just let it cool down we're gonna keep stirring it while it's cooling down so it doesn't all stick together and there you have some caramel corn we'll have that later with a movie and munch on some caramel corn now I'm going to get my tomato and cream cheese in the oven for 30 minutes, okay? Also here, I'm going to get my macaroni to a boil. You can use any kind of pasta. Any kind of pasta. I'm using this kind. You could use any kind you want. Spaghetti, penny, this. I think you could even use macaroni. Egg, elbow noodles. Any kind you want. So I'll bring you back after 30 minutes. This is in the oven. I'm going to put my popcorn in my popcorn bowl. I remember one time I put cocoa in here and took a picture. If I have that picture, I'll put it right here. Okay, let's put the popcorn in there. I want to get this can soaking. Oh, it's so good. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, shoot. Okay. Look at that. Ugh. So good. Mm, it's good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm just gonna stir my spaghetti, my pasta. Mm, that's good. Okay, you guys. You ready for this? I'm going to take the tomato and cream cheese out. find something to smash the tomatoes with. Find my meat smasher. My own fault cooking at dark. Because I sat around in color most of the day. I did do laundry and I did clean the bathroom. Oh. Okay, ready? We're going to smash the tomatoes. Okay. This is so easy. And the cream cheese. I'm going to smash it all. This is so good, you guys. Get all those tomatoes smashed. This is where we're going to add our noodles. I know this looks like nothing, but it's absolutely delicious. I'm telling you. I was like shocked when I made this and tried it for the first time. Okay. Okay. My noodles. I'm just gonna drain them out. the noodles. We're going to mix this up. Keep breaking those tomatoes when you see them. I can add a little more noodles. Okay. Okay. That's looking good. It doesn't look like much, but it's delicious, you guys. What are you doing in here? Oh, I'm making dinner late. Yeah. I could smell that out there. I'm going, boy, that smells good. <laughs> it's just tomatoes cherry tomatoes and uh, a brick of cream cheese Ooh. and it's delicious that sounds like something I've never had anything like that yeah mm, that's alright what a beautiful day outside oh I bet oh. then I have my fresh part uh, basil here I'm going to put a little bit of that in 
You can put the pieces, like the whole pieces. I'm not going to put much. You put as much basil as you want in. And uh, you can put the leaves, basil leaves in, just like they are. It looks beautiful. Like that. There's a tomato. Okay. Just keep mixing. This is all there is to it. And this is the most delicious pasta dinner you're ever going to taste. Uh, you'll be surprised. Keep breaking those tomatoes. I'm keeping my cherry tomatoes in the freezer. And I, if, I, if you're in a rush where you need something and you don't want to run to take, ta uh, to, to, uh, what is that? That's part of the green cheese wrapper. Jeez. <laughs> if you uh, if you don't want to run and get take take out, you just want a quick meal when you come home from work. This is it. You can add more tomatoes. I added the tomatoes that Bruce picked from the garden to yesterday. Just uh, scoop you up a bowl of this. Mm. You won't regret it. Let's get a bowl and try it. Okay, what I'm going to do is give you a taste test right here. Because um, it's dark. And you won't be able to see me in the living room. Okay, so I get a noodle. Like I said, any kind of pasta works just fine. And then, uh, yeah, taste test. Mm. Mm. That burst of tomato. Mm. Okay, my garlic bread's almost done. My garlic bread's done. Okay, five minutes. And then I did about four minutes. And then... I put it on, uh, oh, I gotta shut that off. I put it on, oh, God, what do you call it? Broil for a minute and a half. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. That's going to be nice. Let me get a knife. I thought that would work. Oh. What? Here, let me try that. Ugh. It's ready. It's ready. You gotta. I'll give you a paper plate. Want two pieces or one? He wants a narrow piece. He said. Okay, just like that. Okay. If you want, come back for more before Nathan gets it. Oh, you want more? Give me the end piece. Okay. Ah, it's hot. Thank you. Okay. Love you. Love you. Yeah. Nate will probably come and eat the rest of this garlic. No, I don't have it. You never mind. <laughs> okay, guys. This is it. Oh. oh. Perfect. I'm going to go caramel corn you have to try that and the secret is cooking it in the oven like I said 220 for one hour stir every 15 minutes mm -hmm. okay mm. that's delicious easy simple and good good night everyone this is what I colored today, and um, now I'm working on this one. This one here. Yeah, <laughs> I'm gonna have some popcorn in color.